Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are starting a new video series on Symmetric Kernel, which would target .NET developers or any Microsoft full stack developer, even SharePoint developers who wish to leverage AI into their applications and would like to get a starting point with Symmetric Kernel SDK library, how to start with, how you can create or you can fill the gap between traditional applications versus this AI smart applications. So in this entire series, we are going to see the introduction to Symmetric Kernel and then we would be going to how we can leverage the AI services using Symmetric Kernel, how to create plugins and how to automate auto invoke the plugins using planner, chaining of prompts and then agent framework to create any custom agents for your applications. So to start with, we'll be just circling back to Symmetric Kernel what is semantic kernel and what is the need of having semantic kernel between your applications and this LLMs. So semantic kernel is an open source SDK developed by Microsoft for building AI powered applications. So it's particularly bridging the gap between the traditional applications and making them smart using their large language models like OpenAI, GPT or Azure OpenAI services and making easier to develop the intelligent application that can perform the complex task using these language models. So in this diagram, which is from Microsoft references, so you can see these, this kernel sits just between this your application and this LLMs, which we are going to leverage or resource from our OpenAI or Azure OpenAI services. So it enables us to create the functions, to create the plugins, native plugins and the AI plugins, and which can be in turn used within your applications. Just consider any application, let's say flight booking system, where right now person used to just open that app, just select their dates and then book the flight. But you want to make it more smart using AI and the semantic kernel is right at the right place to make it more smart using custom your existing plugin, but targeting into the AI services. You can just have some plugin created, which will just take some sort of chatbot, which will take the response like from which date you want to book your ticket. And then it will do all the operations, subsequent operation of creating booking and then creating a payment link for you and doing, doing all the operations. So that is the usage of creating any custom plugin or AI agents using semantic kernel and the most important thing which I like about it you need not to learn any new language if you are a .NET developer you are familiar with C sharp programming language then you can build in well within the C sharp language using your favorite tool Visual Studio or Visual Studio code so no need to learn Python you can very well use or integrate the AI models using C sharp language itself to start with today with introduction, we'll be just creating a simple prompt console application into Visual Studio and that console application will be taking a text as in prompt and then gives us a response using our LLM models and that we are going to leverage via Azure OpenAI. So to start with, you can open AI.Azure.com and this will get you into your OpenAI, Azure OpenAI Studio and you can start creating the deployment models. So for this, you have to have a running subscription of Azure service. And in that, you have to create one new resource so that you can tie up that resource to your Azure OpenAI. And once you do that, you will be listed with this deployment model. So if you don't find it directly, then you can go to shared resources. You click on deployments, you will see deploy your model. So once you click on this deploy model, you have to start creating a deploy based model and then you can fetch up which model you want to create. So you can select uh, GPT-35 Turbo, there is DALI and we have this GPT Mini as well. So you can pick up your large LLM model, which LLM model you want to pick up. And once you do that, then it will create, it will ask for the deployment name so once you click on it, you will see the details of this existing deployment model, which I've created. So the deployment name is this one, and it will give you this information about it and the rate limit, which 
would you would be deciding while creating this deployment model and the important thing is endpoint and the key so these two things you have to copy and you need just need to have this till this level as a starting endpoint so just uh, skip these other parts of the endpoint just skip that one because it's the end to end including the deployment model name we won't won't require that so but importantly we would need need key just to make a call to this azure open ai deployment model so that we can get a response for our prompts so to start with you have to have this azure open ai either in trial or your running subscription and then you can open the visual studio or visual studio code based on what which editor which id you want to use so i'll be using this visual studio so i have this visual studio 2022 i'll open that and we'll create a new project and for demo i'll be just using this as console application and we'll name that as sk starter app and we'll be targeting that to 6.0 so it provisioned one console application for us so to start with we have to have add the NuGet package for our this console application which can use the semantic kernel so i'll just go to these tools add NuGet package manager i'll open that from browse you can search for Microsoft semantic kernel and this will give you this Microsoft semantic kernel and add that to your solution install it accept then it will give you a starting point to work with SK SDK so once it's done you can circle back to our console application and we'll just get rid of this line and now we'll start typing our own SDK kernel where we are going to initialize our kernel build and then we are going to use the uh, AI service which is chat completion just to uh, retrieve the prompts related to our input. So I'll just include the Microsoft semantic kernel connectors.openai and Microsoft semantic kernel and then starting over here we are going to create a variable for where we are going to use this kernel where we are going to create a builder so i'll just say builder equal to kernel dot create builder so this will give me an instance of my builder and then we are going to use what service azure service we want to use so over here uh, we have this azure open ai audio text chat completion these are all AI services. We will go through these services individually in subsequent videos. So for now, we'll be just using this Azure OpenAI chat completion. And you see like in parameter, it asks for deployment name. And then it has this deployment endpoint. And then we have this API key. So these three input it asks for. So I can just provide the deployment model which I created over here. So this is my deployment name and this could be my endpoint and the key I would be copying from here. So over here I have initialized it. So I am just hiding this my key so that it cannot be used. And once it's done, I can just scroll up and just move my screen a bit down so that I can just permanently hide this one. And now we are going to just keep working on our instance of our builder. So now we are going to just create an instance of our kernel so that we can use this kernel to call our API service. So builder.build and now in prompt I can read the read it from my console read line so that whatever question I would be putting up, so it should read from console. And then later on I will just invoke my this prompt from this kernel dot invoke prompt async and i'll be passing my prompt and prompt is my variable which would be reading from this line and this result as it's an async call so i have to wait to get the result out of it and once the result is there i would be just printing out that result to my screen like this 
So I'll just run it in the debug mode and we'll be seeing like what we are getting or what object we are getting out of our this one. So I'll just run it. So now it's waiting for some input from our side. So we'll just enter what's the capital of UAE enter and in result it invoked my kernel builder so I'll just come to the next execution and it should give me the result so in result variable I got this the capital of UAE is Abu Dhabi and this same result can be shown on the right line over here so capital of UAE is Abu Dhabi so this is how we invoked our large language model Azure of Azure OpenAI using our semantic kernel. And this is just basic demo which we have done of our initial setup. And for our later sessions, as we have set up our SDK and set up our Azure OpenAI deployment model, then we are going to take it forward with our next topics that is related to AI services and how to create plugins. You can convert the native plugins into AI plugins and planner to auto invoke all the plugins, then chaining of prompts, and then building out the AI agents using agent framework. So, this is the agenda of this entire video series. Hope you are excited about this entire series. So, that is it for today. Thank you.